in these problems we are solving some trigonometric equations with sine and cosine where we need to solve for theta. And uh, the special part about this is that we need to find all of the solutions. Uh, and really there are an infinite number of solutions to these problems. So we'll use this special notation. Uh, they give us an example down here, theta equals pi over 5 plus 2k pi. And then this weird thing, k, some weird looking e thing, some weird looking z thing. All this stuff means is that um, every m multiple of 2 pi, k and this e and the z, is z means is an element of, the e means is an element of, and z means integers, that funny looking z. So it's just saying k is an integer. So any integer times 2 pi, uh, so 2 pi, 4 pi, 6 pi, 8 pi, etc., onto infinity uh, are going to satisfy this one. So that's a confusing looking notation, but really not, not that hard of a concept. Let's, let's try this. The first one says sine of theta minus 1 equals 0. We want to first solve this for sine of theta. So we just add 1 to both sides, and we get sine of theta equals 1. So the, the next step is to figure out where on the unit circle the sine of theta equals 1. You probably know that you know the sine is the y value. So here is where the sine of theta equals 1, which means theta is pi over 2. So that's part of our answer. Theta equals pi over 2. But if you go around the circle a whole another time and end up there again, it's true again. And then around another time, it's true again. So we can add. 2 pi to it and it's true. We can add 2, we can add 4 pi to it and it's true. So we're going to add that 2k pi where k is an integer. All right, let's try another one. This one's got a little bit more work to it. We've got 2 times the cosine of theta minus the square root of 3. So first we'll try to solve for the cosine of theta. So I'm going to add the square root of 3 to both sides. And we get 2 cosine theta equals the square root of 3. And then we just divide by 2 to solve for the cosine of theta. So we get the, the cosine of th theta equals square root of 3 over 2. So where is that the case? Well, cosine is the x value. So there's one of those uh, right here at pi over 6. And there's one of those that's positive right here at 11 pi over 6. So we've got two answers for this one. So we can write this as um, theta equals pi over 6. And then, of course, it equals pi over 6 again if you go all the way around the circle again. So we'll just do that plus 2k pi thing, where k is an integer, but I'm not going to write all that fancy stuff. And then we can say or theta equals uh, 11 pi over 6 plus, again, the 2k pi thing. All right, so that is a little bit of work with uh, solving these trigonometric equations and, um, and showing all the possible solutions.